individual priority five stages, which I somehow naturally went through during my breakup and found them very helpful. Also later in other tough moments in my life. And that's why I'd like to share my experience as I believe that these stages can also help you to go over your breakup or struggles, let's say quite effectively. You will not find that you can benefit from your current struggles um, in your future because as you know, all uh, struggles provide us valuable life lessons and eventually you will feel happy again. Now maybe you're thinking like, okay, maybe your breakup wasn't as bad as mine. Well, maybe not, but let me just briefly describe one day of my life. Um, actually, it was November 7, 2014. I remember this day of my life very clearly, uh, as it was the day when I definitely confirmed my resignation uh, from the first job uh, because of my burnout after four years of employment there. And that evening, uh, I unexpectedly found out that after a four-year relationship, my ex-boyfriend was cheating on me. And when I say a four-year relationship, I literally mean a four-year relationship as one day before we ever celebrated uh, the anniversary. So I can say that really this whole four-year period of my private as well as professional life uh, was somehow closed off uh, in that day. And later, uh, life provided me even uh, other opportunities to prove these five stages. But let's move directly to these stages. Uh, I classify them into two major phases. Uh, the first phase is uh, about analysis, acceptance and closure of the past. And the very first stage is allowing yourself to grieve. Meaning, when something negative happens uh, in our lives and we are hurt, the grief is natural. Uh, so in the first stage, uh, really acknowledge and um, release all your emotions. I highly recommend you to cry because it helps to release your tension. Also talk about it to your friend or to somebody. It slightly helps you to calm you down as well. But I would say that it's better to distance yourself uh, from the person who hurt you in this first phase because you are fully controlled by your emotions, you know, and uh, it could create unnecessary drama uh, that is at the end, uh, not helpful to anybody. In case of my breakup, I even took a few days of holiday uh, and this holiday had a specific purpose just to allow myself to grieve. So I highly recommend you to dedicate time just for grieving to make sure that all your tension and emotions are released before moving on to the next stage that is basically about analyzing of the past situation. So while the first stage is fully just about the emotions, in the second stage, you start to think about what happened, meaning you are involving your brain in the situation. So really try to analyze the situation, but in a constructive way, meaning try to understand why the person who hurt you acted the way or she did, also what was your portion and why the situation ended up in this way. The goal of this stage is not to blame yourself or the other person, it's just to see all the situation from the neutral, or let's say higher perspective, and try to understand why it happened. In this stage, most probably you will already need to contact uh, also the other person involved, uh, because in order to get more neutral point of view, you need to know also uh, the opinion of the other person party as well, right? So it was also in my case and I have to say that it was very helpful for me uh, to see also my um, ex-partner's uh, opinion. In case of some his arguments, you know, I had to even silently agree, but you know, I wouldn't realize them all. So it can be really beneficial for you uh, to really listen to the other person as well. And this analysis of the past situation yeah, will basically help you also uh, in the next stage, uh, that is identifying your lesson and learning from it. I believe that every negative situation which we encounter uh, is coming not to conquer us, but to help us to develop and grow. But in order to learn something, we need to be able to identify the lesson which is hidden in the situation. I think it's very important because you know how the life works. If you fail to identify your lesson in the first situation, most probably uh, life will give you the second or even the third and another chance to learn your lesson from other similar situations uh, which you will have to face again and again until you finally identify the lesson. And I guess everybody would like to avoid repetition of the same pity situations, right? Uh, so in case of, of my breakup and burnout, I identified several lessons, not just one. But for example, one of them was that I should more focus on keeping work-life balance in the future. 
because after spending so much time at work with stress, I even didn't have too much remaining time and energy to invest in this relationship. So although I was rising professionally, uh, I was most probably very far from the perfect girlfriend. But since we are human, we make mistakes. Um, it's natural, it's normal, important is uh, to learn from our mistakes and not repeat the same mistake twice. It's still better to make some new mistake and learn something new. Uh, and uh, the last stage, uh, still within this past related phase, is about forgiving the other person, forgiving yourself. I know that this might be not easy in some cases, uh, but it's really a crucial step. Uh, because otherwise uh, you stay stuck in your past so you will be never able to really move on uh, in your life I you know then maybe you are again arguing okay but how can I forgive somebody who hurt me so bad well in such case remember that you have to do it for yourself meaning if you don't forgive the person you will still feel the burden in your gut and it will cause you further suffering as far as you forgive everybody you will start to feel more peace within yourself uh, as you will completely remove uh, that other person's control over your life so you will be no more affected uh, by his actions or words and uh, in this stage you can even decide whether you stay with this person in contact in the future or not. Mm, I mean, if you're completely over the situation, then it's okay to stay in contact. I didn't have feeling uh, that I had to cut off my ex from my life completely due to some situations and conversations which happened during the first three stages. I was completely sure that I couldn't imagine uh, my ex as my life partner anymore. So, at this point, we are finally ready to move on from this past-related phase where we release our emotions, we analyze the past situation, we close it off, we take just our lesson and we move on to the second phase, uh, that is uh, living in the present moment. And there is basically our fifth stage, that is finding and focusing on something positive. It's really time to move forward now, uh, meaning start to think about the past completely. And in order not to feel depressed or something like that, it's up to you to find something positive in the current situation. I know that you think that maybe, again, uh, are you crazy? What might be positive in such a bad situation? Well, trust me, there is always at least something small, small, positive. Just find it and focus your thoughts on it. So after my uh, situation uh, with a close-off period, I was even uh, uh, intentionally unemployed because I really felt that I needed to recharge my battery. Um, so for me the positive was that I finally had some free time just for myself, you know, I spent so much time at work before. I didn't even have to uh, solve any issues, either work or relationship related. I had even time to reunite with some good friends from the university. And I have to say, if you have a few good friends, it's so much easier to overcome any obstacles in life. So really, living in the present moment, Focusing on the positive and being grateful for what you have is something uh, that can help you to find the peace within yourself, to bring back your inner balance so that you can feel happy again. And remember that everything happens for a reason. So if you are currently going through some tough times, most probably life wants you to teach something. And these five stages, um, like allowing yourself to grieve, uh, analyzing of the past situation, finding your lesson and learning from it, forgiving everybody no matter what, and being in the present uh, positive moment uh, can help you to overcome your obstacles effectively, um, to pick up your lesson and to move on uh, to your positive present. If you find this video helpful, feel free to like, share, subscribe my channel so that I can uh, bring you even more helpful videos.